Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today we are participating in an awesome collaboration called Savor the Scraps. This really great channel, Heritage Ways, check her out, um, put together this collaboration with a bunch of really, really great YouTube channels. So I will have links to everybody in the description box below and I will also have a playlist to all of the videos that are up there, okay? What am I going to do? Savor the scraps. It's a leftover makeover kind of thing. And I normally don't do a lot of cooking that has leftovers. I'm, I've gotten pretty proficient at cooking for two. But there's always that exception, isn't there? So the other day I made a pot roast. And you know, meat prices nowadays are getting a little crazy. So I'm not wasting any meat. That's not going to happen. But Phil really loves roast. I mm, kind of put up with it, you know, but I think his favorite part about the roast is what's left over because then he makes sandwiches and he loves it. Well, he loves it, but he didn't make it all the way through it. So I have this container of roast that I need to use up. I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I'm going, okay, savor the scraps. What are we going to do? Well, went digging out in the freezer and I thought I had bags of frozen cauliflower. <laughs> yep, I have bags that have frozen cauliflower in them. What I have is California medley. So what we're going to do is we're going to put together a kind of fried cauli rice with the roast. So it's going to be a beef fried rice using cauli rice um, and broccoli and carrots. <laughs> okay. So, let's get started. This is going to be so good. I can't wait. Okay, to dra drive a sane woman crazy is to not have what she thought she had. Okay, so there's not very much cauliflower in here, and there's a lot of ice crystals. So, we are putting this in our food processor, and it's still frozen, as you can see. And we are going to rice this up. I'm not, I, I want it frozen when I do this because I don't want mush. So let's cross our fingers. Did anyone, anybody else notice that I forgot to put the blades in the processor? <laughs> okay, we didn't do it for very okay. long. Just enough to get that consistency, okay? Kind of riced it a little bit. Didn't really rice the carrots, but it riced the cauliflower and the broccoli. So now we're gonna add that into our trusty cast iron pan. And now I'm going to take that wonderful roast and break it up in here and just grind it up. Okay, see if we can get most of that work done for us quickly in a food processor. Okay, and then we'll get started making it good. Okay, so when it's all said and done, that's what it looks like. Can you see that? Yes, you can see that. Okay, so let's dump that in the pan too. Okay, so we are savoring the scraps. Yes, we are. So we've got that, and now we're adding the meat. And the nice part about doing the meat like that is it grabs up any of the vegetables that I might have missed. Am I going to need a bigger pan? You never know. Okay. So, we've turned the heat on. I have a little bit, a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. Not a whole bunch, okay? So as we're heating this up, next comes all the other good stuff. Now, like I said, there's broccoli in here, there's carrots in here, um, and there's cauliflower in here. But, we need some onions. So I have just a little bit of our Thrive Life onions. I'll mix those in. You can mix in, um, you know, if you've got a fresh onion, that's great. Dice up however much you want, toss it in there. Okay. But I almost never have fresh onions in the house anymore, unless I'm buying them specifically for a project because I always use um, the Thrive Life. And if you're interested in checking those out, ha, 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 ha. Um, visit suttonsdays.thrivelife.com. 
So next, we're going to add, I've got a reduced sodium soy sauce. And we're going to liberally add that into the pan. So I'm figuring probably about a half a cup. Okay. There we go. And we're going to heat that up. Might need to add just a little bit more. Okay. And then you can never have enough garlic. Never. How much garlic? There's garlic in fried rice. Yes, there is. And so I'm adding just a pinchish of garlic. Okay. Now we're going to cook this down a bit. Now you figure the roast is already cooked. The vegetables are basically cooked. They're just meant to be steamed in the microwave. So this whole thing is going to take just a matter of minutes. Okay. Let's get that all heated up and I will get the bowls ready. So a while back, I want to say late autumn, I picked up some of these chow mein noodles when we went to the uh, Amish store. Phil really likes them and I made uh, I made some American chop suey for it. So because this is not so much a collie rice like I had hoped, um, we're going to add these in. Yes we are. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's Phil's bowl. Okay, that's my bowl. Um and let me bring you back over here. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. That smells really good. Now you can, if you're used to different spices in your uh, fried rice, then you can add whatever you like. I mean, I've seen recipes that add brown sugar. Now, kind of defeats the purpose around this household, but um, this, with the soy sauce and the garlic and the onion, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, let me get this I forgot. In the bowl. I almost forgot my favorite word in the whole world. I almost forgot some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Adds that extra little mm, into it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. Okay, so turn off the heat. And now I'm going to spoon this on top of the chow mein noodles. Smells really good. Look at that. I think I'm gonna like this better than I do pot roast. Okay. So now comes the moment of truth. Hey dear, the pressure's on. <laughs> We're formal dining tonight, as usual, in the living room. Might be hot. What's the verdict? Good? Okay, you guys. Yeah? I hope that you enjoyed our Savor the Scraps contribution. We are going to sit down and enjoy dinner really quick. And I hope that you take a moment to check out all of the really wonderful channels participating in this and collaboration. And a super big shout out to Heritage Ways. Thank you for inviting us to participate in this wonderful collaboration and challenge. Until next time, everybody, be safe.